We began learning more about competency-based learning, um, and that's kind of what our um, one of our focuses is right now. And our entry point as a staff was to develop a single point rubric where um, the meets category of a, an, a learning target that we'd like to meet is in the middle. And then we're able to give appropriate feedback to each child um, as far as what they need to do to get to a meets mastery um, category or what next steps they need to take to get beyond mastery. So that was kind of our entry point to um, implementing some of our competency-based learning practices. Um, and plus it's an easy way to assess kids um, with an iPad, a teacher can go around and as kids are working in collaborative groups, they can use that single point rubric to get live data that they can look at and design learning um, for experiences for students beyond that. The most critical part of a single point rubric for us was being able to provide more feedback to students because on a traditional rubric with all those columns and rows, there's only a tiny bit left in the margin for you to give a little bit of feedback at the bottom possibly. And what we really wanted to do is use that rubric as a tool to help grow our learners because they can have multiple attempts at mastering something and they can demonstrate that in multiple ways. So by having the single column with the mastery shown, on the left side of that you've got not yet. And that language is really important too because if we lay everything out as one, two, three, four, some kids will accept I'm okay with getting a two. But if we say not yet, there's not an end point to that. You're going to continue learning. And then on the right side of that single column is extensions that you can do where you can take your practice beyond where it is currently.